What is happening in the world of personal finance this week? All right, so this week we're gonna cover the news, the latest on the stimulus talks and unemployment. I'll share with you what's happening in California and what has happened in terms of me getting some extra money. Okay, I've got some news there. Uh, I'm also going to uh, look at some uh, viewers' questions and comments. Um, I put out three videos last week. I'm gonna respond to two of them. All right, and I'll go grab the next one uh, next week. All right. And then um, I'm also gonna share with you a really nice app. Uh, for those of you who are working on your plan B, this is particularly useful because it's not only great for um, keeping track of miles, but also your expenses, all right? And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a personal story about how I discovered this technique, which is my number one technique for dealing with adversity. All right, hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy, drinking my full cup of Nespresso. Oh, that's good. It's Saturday morning. It is about 9.30 in the morning. Today was a big day for me. I've been in this program for the last seven weeks called the Longevity Blueprint. And um, I got involved in this program so that I could become healthier and uh, learn how to live longer and maintain my, you know, my feeling good as long as I possibly could. And we took these fitness tests at the beginning and then at the end. And today I had to take the fitness test at the end of the program, at the end of the seven weeks. And we had to do a, a minute's worth of push-ups, squats, uh, burpees, and how long could you do a plank? And I was able to do, I went from 12 push-ups six, seven weeks ago to 24. I, instead of 30 squats, I can now do 40. I still did 90 seconds of plank and I went from nine to 11 on the burpees. And then in addition to that, I dropped five pounds and uh, my resting heart weight rate dropped. My fat content uh, got smaller, my muscle mass went up. So I've got all these measurements now. So anyway, that all happened this morning. So uh, feeling good. Let's jump in to personal finance. Okay, number one, financial news, all right? So this first thing I'm gonna show you uh, is just to kind of bring this back back home, yeah? I mean, we talk about the stimulus and we talk about the unemployment, and I think it's important to understand that for many of us, the, the idea of going back and driving just isn't something we're, we're even gonna consider, uh, primarily due to the safety issue. And uh, NPR here has this article, uh, millions of gig workers depend on new unemployment program, but fear it'll end soon right? And, and in fact, it has ended as of, as of last week, right? Um, uh, it ended at the end of July, right? The 600, extra $600. Then um, President Trump signed the executive order, which gave us six more weeks. That's now over. So basically, we're just living on basic unemployment. And uh, for most people, that's just simply not enough. And that is the importance uh, of the stimulus package, which just doesn't seem to get any traction. Here's what this article says. Gig workers, like those who lost jobs during the pandemic, have already seen their benefits reduced at the end of July, Snyder, the person speaking, went from receiving 775 a week to just 175. What's more, unless Congress acts to extend it, this big new program is set to expire altogether at the end of the year. That's the, the PUA, that's the $175 that he's talking about. What's gonna happen this winter, Snyder wonders. I feel like a squirrel burying nuts. I don't know when I'll be able to go back to work the way I used to, if I'll ever be able to go back the way I used to work. So uh, later this week, um, uh, actually this week I made the video and it's coming out next week about what it would take uh, for me as a, as a veteran driver with 26,000 trips under my belt, what would it take for me to actually go back and get in my car and start driving again? So be sure and look for that video. The next uh, uh, article I pulled here is stimulus package update. Why another bill could still pass and what would be in it. And in that article, we see, could an agreement on a new economic relief bill be in sight after weeks of on again, off again negotiations? 
There's certainly a stirring of hope with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi planning to keep the House of Representatives in session until lawmakers reach a deal. And President Donald Trump on Wednesday urging Republican holds out to accept a larger bill. Some of the Republicans disagree, but I think I can convince them to go along with that, Trump said. I think it's going to happen. It's very important. And of course, it is important for Donald Trump that those 30 million people, uh, you, me, whoever is receiving these unemployment benefits, gets more money. So it's important for us to be happy with him if we're going to vote for him. And it's also important for all the whole economy to have that money come in so that people start spending more money again uh, for goods and services. Yep. Now, what I want to show you here, this is what happened uh, over the last two weeks. Um, this is my inbox with the unemployment office. And as you can see, for 8 1, 8 8, and 8 15, I've, been, I've received an extra $300. And now I'm expecting, and, I, and there's no real timetable, I'm expecting to receive three more of those payments over the next, I suppose, uh, three weeks. So good on California. A lot of states, a lot of you have reported that you're receiving money, some of you are getting lump sum money, and, uh, and that's fantastic. And number two, questions, comments from viewers on the videos that I put out last week. So the, uh, the first one is the, uh, the personal finance video. It came out last uh, Monday. Okay. And uh, I did it from Tahoe. And uh, Dorothy Bell says, uh, last year in Tahoe, she was in Lake Tahoe, and it's beautiful. Enjoy your time. You deserve it. Thank you, Dorothy. It was a great two-day trip. Okay, next we've got... Uh, hi, I got my $900, okay, three weeks in Florida. Okay, so that's a lump sum. Now that it is extended to six weeks, do you have any idea when they're going to be paying? I do not. I don't know. Um, I would assume over the next three weeks, um, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Let me know when people, when you're out there, when you start to get the, the week number four, five, and six money. Is California going to retro pay for wages lost uh, when the 600 benefit ended? Yeah, so a friend of mine, um, he didn't even know about the PUA, and he recently applied going all the way back to when he stopped driving, uh, which was like in, uh, in April. And I said, dude, you're going to get from April, May, June, and July, you're going to get $600 a week on top of unemployment. And he got this massive like $11,000 uh, in, in one dump. So yes, it is retroactive. If you go back and you can make a case that you are not working because of the pandemic. The next video was all about the LWA, the Lost Wages Assistance, okay? And uh, here's the first uh, comment. I was driving Uber part-time while retired up to February this year when I qualify for these benefits. So here again, absolutely, absolutely. I've turned a lot of people onto this and then they get back to me and they say, wow, I got all this money that you could get. All right, the next uh, person pointed out that five weeks of 300 is 1,500. But the point of this article was that most states are getting six weeks, uh, not five. So that would bump it up to $1,800. And light to earth, be thankful you're not in Georgia. So I don't know what's going on in Georgia, but um, uh, I have been to Georgia. Um, I was in Atlanta, Georgia when I was like 22. I was working in Chicago for an advertising agency and um, I was a buyer of media and a TV station flew a bunch of us down there and they took us to uh, 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 like a disco place, right? And, um, and, and the thing about the disco was that when you walked in, you walked on this glass floor and underneath it was uh, some sharks, was some sharks and uh, there was sharks swimming around. <laughs> And I don't remember much because I got pretty drunk. A lot of us were just drinking, you know, early 20s. But uh, that was my experience of, of Atlanta. And I understand now that, that there's a grocery store where that, where that place used to be. And uh, the Limelight is what it was called. And, um, and now it's called the Disco Kroger's. The dis Number three, the devil's in the details. So I just wanted to make this uh, recommendation to you. This is a really great app, um, okay? Um, the app is called Hurdler, Hurdler, H-U-R-D-L-R. And the link for this app um, will be right below this video, okay? And the cool thing about it is that uh, it not only keeps track of your miles, but for those of us who are doing a, 
uh, plan B and we got to keep track of all of a whole bunch of expenses and heck even for drivers we have all kinds of expenses you know your gas expense um, how much you're paying in tolls um, things you're buying for your car waters and, and cleaning supplies and masks and all that stuff that you can keep track of with this app okay number four dealing with adversity dealing with adversity so I want to share with you my number one uh, tool all right, a technology strategy technique for dealing with adversity. I think I've mentioned that I'm a coach now. Um, I coach coaches on how to generate clients um, using Facebook advertising and what's called a funnel. And um, when people start to create a business of any kind, they go through a lot of fear, right? And you might have experienced that if you're if you're starting a plan B. So the uh the, the the strategy or the tool is to have a crystal clear vision of where you see your life going okay and the way i learned about this was i'd been talking about writing this book okay this is back in 2014 and my buddy said to me jay you're so full of crap you've been talking about that for a year and just write it or stop talking about it so I said, OK, I'm, I'm going to go to Mexico for six months and I'm going to eat fresh fish and fruit and be by the beach and I'm going to write this book. Then I was watching TV before before the trip and this show came on. What I'm showing you right there, that's from a show, um, Anthony Bourdain, and it came from a place called Chiang Mai, Thailand. And he talked about it like it was the most beautiful place. He said he in fact, he said that his life had been black and white up until that point and it went into color. Right. And I was like, oh, I got to go there. Then in the show, uh, they show this woman, right? This woman cutting stewed pork leg and it's stewed pork leg that goes over um, some rice and, the, and there's a little egg that goes on top of it. And I saw that and I was like, that's it. I changed my trip and I went to Thailand instead because this vision of being in this place was so powerful. And uh, sure enough, the next picture you see here, that's me and her because she was like famous. And she was one of the main reasons I, you know, made this big trip. And I stayed in Thailand for over a year. But the point being that um, when I have, a, a, when I come up against my own fears, um, what I think of is my vision. And my vision continues to be traveling the world and working for my laptop, making good money and traveling, those two things together. And I can taste the fried chicken on the side of the road, the iced coffee, I can smell the incense in the temples. And it's like, it, it just immediately puts me past the fear and I keep going towards the goal. So that's my recommendation. If you're uh, facing adversity, spend some time get really clear on what you want your life to look like, right? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it um, feel like? Who are you with? Who are you waking up next to, right? What are you doing during the day? All of that. And uh, that will help to power you. This is like a superpower. It'll help power you through adversity so you can keep moving towards the goal, okay? You just wanna keep taking actions. You're not always gonna go straight towards the goal. But as long as you're moving a little closer, all right, that's progress. And we want progress, not perfection. All Key right. takeaways. Well, we're just kind of in a wait and see. Wait and see when more money's coming uh, of, the, of the lost wages assistance, right? I've gotten half. We'll see when the other half shows up. We'll wait and see on the stimulus. Just going to wait and see. California, we're going to have a wait and see what happens with Uber and Lyft on Prop 22. And uh, and if you haven't got have you, if you haven't uh, got this crystal clear vision about what's the way you want your life to look, then I recommend you take a little time. It's actually the most enjoyable thing you could possibly do because you're going to feel this excitement for your life, for where it's going, and with that hope and that joy and that ecstasy, uh, boy, you can accomplish a lot. All right, thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. That'll help more people to see it. Uh, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy uh, saying be safe out there. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe, sign up for notifications, 
and uh, you know, just stay up to date on everything that's happening in the gig economy. All right, that's what we're all about. The gig economy, rideshare drivers, finance, um, how we can all work smarter, make more money in less time. Yeah, you're going to have a great day. Wear a mask, be safe out there, take care.